How do you drive bacteria to murder? Countless microbes die every day. Few of those deaths matter. This is a story of one that does. Our suspect, Rhodococcus. Scientists saw that the bacterium had the genes to produce powerful antibiotics that might kill other microbes. But it never did. The antibiotic could be a valuable medicine, a weapon against the microbes that plague humanity. So scientists pressured Rhodo. They stressed it. They starved it. They turned up the heat. When those conditions didn't work, what we thought is perhaps we need to dip deeper into our bag of magic tricks. Instead of pitting Roto against chemicals or hostile habitats, they let a bully move into the neighborhood. Strepto is a notorious thug in the bacterial world, wielding a deadly type of antibiotic. If the Streptomyces are growing in the same culture vessel in which the rotococcus are growing, the rotococcus have two options. Option one, die. Option two, figure out a defense of your own. But in trial after trial, Roto chose option one. Then, one strain of Roto fought back. One strain wiped out all the strepto around it. Suddenly, investigators were faced with an old-fashioned murder mystery. There was a victim, strepto, in white, and a suspect, Roto, in orange. There was a crime scene and a loaded gun, an antibiotic. Roto killed strepto, but how? What was different this time? There was only one clue. The rotococcus that had survived the battle with the streptomyces contained extra DNA stolen from the streptomyces. What did that DNA have to do with the gun? the antibiotic. There are three possibilities. The stolen DNA held all of the instructions to make the antibiotic. Strepto was murdered with its own gun. Or perhaps the stolen DNA held only some of the instructions for the antibiotic. Roto had the gun, but needed to steal Strepto's bullets. Or what if that DNA was merely an irritant? Roto had the loaded gun all along, but the extra DNA provoked it to shoot. The evidence is strictly circumstantial, so scientists must investigate their leads. The researchers are examining the stolen DNA to see if it holds the instructions for the antibiotic. They are also trying another tack. They are bombarding Roto with random bits of Strepto's DNA to see if they can make it kill again. If investigators can uncover where the gun came from, they could turn this weapon against harmful bacteria in our bodies. The antibiotic that these bacteria are producing is new. It's not one of the same old antibiotics that have been seen a hundred times elsewhere. This is a new antibiotic. It's a new structure. A new structure made in a new way, by pitting two bacteria against each other in a fight to the death. One bacterium's loss could be all of humanity's game. Strepto's death could open avenues to produce novel and more potent medicine. But only if scientists solve the mystery of how Roto murdered one of the bacterial world's biggest bullies.